Let's listen in. St. Pete, off candy. I want to ask the question that I think a lot of people want to know, but I think most people are like afraid to ask. Is it safe to step outside when you're in the middle of the eye to look at the eye wall and kind of experience the calm? Because we've seen videos. Most of us have never experienced the inside of the eye. Or should we just hunker down inside and wait for it to pass? Uh, so as a, oh, man. As a <laughs> I love that. As, as a, crazy, a crazy meteorologist, and I'll level with you, and, and I don't want it to happen in this case. No, okay. Make sure <laughs> but, you carefully consider the words coming out but of your mouth. As a kid, and as you know, I was in college and whatnot, and of course, I was up in New England. I've always dreamt of walking outside during the eye of a hurricane just to see, oh my gosh, it is sunny, yet I'm going to get nailed in about 15 minutes with, you know, category whatever wind. Um, whether it's safe to go outside, first of all, you don't know when, when you walk out, you don't know what you're going to you're going to encounter, right? There could be power lines down, there could be debris right in the way, um, and you don't know how long if you lose power, which you probably will. You don't know how long that eye is going to be over top of you, right? I would never, I would never advise someone to go outside in the eye. Even though myself, you know, if the eye comes here, JB, I'm going to say, hey, I got to take a two-minute break. I got to step outside and see this. You know, it's kind of like that solar eclipse, right? <clears throat> but I, I would advise people going out, you know, to say, oh, wow, I'm in the eye of a storm. If you do it, do it as soon as the wind calms down and just go out for like 30 seconds and come right back in. I, I'm going to let the meteorologist give the advice <laughs> on that question and i am just going to say be safe and also to uh I, you know how how are you really going to know that you're for sure in the eye wall what level of confidence are you going to have where it could be worth i mean your safety just be safe out there folks i, I know that witnessing a weather phenomenon is an extraordinary thing just be safe uh, I, I'm, I'm going to err on the side of, of Eric's advice and just err on the side of caution. Uh, that, that, that's all I'm going to pass along here with, with that one. But but Kathleen, for what it's worth, I appreciate you being brave enough to ask a question that great question. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is I maybe mean, that, on the minds great. of a lot of people, but um, I it, it wasn't on my mind. I, I don't when if the eye is over WFLA, I I'm not going to the fourth floor and looking at it. I'm not. Uh, we'll be here on stream and hopefully with power. And that's yeah, you know yeah. Uh, so. Will I be looking at the eye wall? Now, I, 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 I flew with the Hurricane Hunters into Irma. I've seen the eye wall. It, all right, look, it, it is pretty majestic. But again, I saw it from tens of thousands of feet in the air. It's a different experience. Just please be safe. Bottom line is, let, let's be safe out there.